All right, folks, welcome to your first day of remote learning with yours truly, your host, Mr. Ogle. I'm sure you're all very excited to be doing some uh, you know, math right now, so uh, we'll go ahead and get right into it. Uh, so you've already downloaded this uh, note packet, printed it out, um, and if uh, you don't have the note packet available for printout, you might want to uh, preview it. Um, write down some main things before we get started and uh, then push play. But anyways, if you have no packet ready in hand, uh, follow along with me or if you just want to watch um, and listen as we go, uh, feel free to do so as well. So we have to identify the acute, right, obtuse, and straight angles. So I will give you a moment to do that. Remember that acute angles are less than 90 degrees. Right angles are a perfect 90 degrees. Obtuse angles are greater than 90 degrees. And straight angles are 180 degrees. All right, so we're looking at number one, and uh, when we see this little box here, it does mean something for us. Uh, it means that th this angle is exactly 90 degrees and would be a right angle. And right over here, we have a uh, angle that is greater than 90 degrees, so we would have an obtuse angle. And here you can see if we drew this line straight up or the one right above it, it would be 90 degrees. This is less than 90 degrees. So we would call this an acute angle, right? So cute. And right here, uh, the uh, straight angle, uh, 180 degrees. And we call that a straight angle. All right, moving on to our essential question. Uh, throughout the notes today, we're looking at what can you conclude about the angles formed by two intersecting lines? And so what we have here is uh, um, our key idea. And for you to get a full view of that, we'll maybe go to a full screen view. And you can see right here that adjacent angles uh, are formed by, when excuse me, Adjacent angles are when uh, two angles share a common side or have the same vertex. Um, and so when we look at uh, the angle one, right, this little symbol right here is how we designate angle. Uh, so angle one and angle two are adjacent. Angle two and four are not adjacent, right? So you can see that angle two and four um, which we'll get to next, are across from each other, whereas angle 1 and 2 are next to each other, right? So angle 1 and angle 2 are right there. They share the side, right? So uh, we can name a couple different angles um, uh, that are adjacent up here as well. Uh, we would say that 2 and 3 are adjacent, right? 2 and 3 are adjacent and three and four are adjacent and a four and one are adjacent right uh, so we can go all around and see that those are all adjacent angles uh, then we get to what i was talking about two and four just a moment ago uh, two angles are vertical angles when they are opposite angles formed by the intersection of two lines vertical angles are congruent and another word for congruent is equal right so these are equal this is my handy dandy writing with a trackpad so uh, congruent another word for congruent is equal meaning that they have the same measure um, and so angle one and angle three are vertical angles one and three they're across from each other you can see this little line right here there's one of the same on each side and then they also say that two and four right instead of just doing one because uh, that would say that 2 would be equal to 1, which is not, right? We designate it with two lines, 
Uh, now, if there are three of them, we just do simple. We do three lines uh, within the angles on both uh, ones that are equal to each other. Okay. So not to confuse adjacent angles. Um, share a common side and have the same vertex, uh, whereas vertical angles are across from each other. We also call them opposite angles. Another word for vertical angles are opposite angles. All right, give you a moment here. Go ahead and push pause, as I am going to do, uh, and go ahead and draw in some acute, straight, right, and obtuse angles. And then what is the measure of the angle formed by the hands of the clock at 9, right? 6 and 12, draw the clocks if you want, or I would suggest maybe just drawing the hands. If I did this one right here uh, with you, we'd have the arrow pointing at 12, right? The long uh, minute arrow. And then we would have the uh, other hand pointing over at 9, right? So 12 and 9 o'clock. We go three, six, nine, twelve, right? Those are our quarters. So we would say that that would be a right angle, right? You can do the other two as well. I'm going to push pause now and let you have a minute uh, to do this. All right, welcome back. We're looking now at uh, drawing an acute angle, right? So anything that's less than 90 degrees, uh, you can start anywhere you like. I'm going to start right here at the three for the minute hand, and then I would maybe go to right here so we'd say this is at 5 15 uh it would be an acute angle right less than 90 a straight angle uh how would we go from 11 um down here to five right so we have a straight angle a right angle um i'm just gonna use 12 because it's easy uh so we have a minute hand here and pointing right out here at three and always to say it's a right angle use this little box because even if it doesn't look like it's right you draw the box it is right and something obtuse right obtuse huge big right well, that's not the straightest line but that's okay uh so something greater than 90 degrees uh six o'clock uh right we'd have a straight angle right one there one here right a little dot in the middle right uh straight up and down and then 12 o'clock Oh, it's kind of tricky. You basically have the little hand right below the, uh, right beneath or above the minute hand, right? So moving along, which work with a partner. Uh, so this would be working by yourself, obviously, but uh, maybe you have something there you want to teach this to or show this to. Uh, some angles, such as angle A, can be named by a single letter. When this does not clearly identify an angle, you should use three letters uh, as shown. I guess that kind of got cut off by the picture uh, as shown. Uh, so we have angle B, D, E, right? So the vertex is in the middle right there. So D would be, uh, this would be the angle. It would be B, starting at B, down to D, and then over to E, right? So D is always labeled as, well, the middle letter would be the vertex here. Um, if you forgot that. Uh, we also label it with just a single letter, so angle A. Um, and then you can say eight quadrilaterals here, A, B, E, F, and B, C, uh, D, E, um, R squares. Name three right angles, uh, two acute angles, and one obtuse. So uh, right now, I'll give you a moment to uh, go ahead and work that out. Um, Push pause if you'd like more time. All right, so we're going to go uh, there again. Push pause if you need some more time. Um, right angles. Uh, we have, well, we can see that these are squares, right? So we know that they are uh, squares composed of four 90-degree angles, right? So I'm going to label by just the single letter here, angle B, right? So that would be this angle right here. Um, I'm also going to label this one as B. C and D, right? So right there, the vertex is a different way of writing it. Uh, so B, C, D, right? So right here, this angle is also um, 
90 degrees. And we can say angle E, you could have said F, you could have said uh, A, C, right? We have C right there already. Acute angles, here we go. Uh, so cute, something smaller than 90, right? So we have angle, uh, this is where we have to use three letters, right? To see, so we have B, D, E, right? So B, D, E, right? And then another one we'd uh, have would be C, D, B, right? So C, start here, D, B, right? So this angle and this angle are acute angles, right? And an obtuse angle, something that's larger than 90 degrees. Now, you might not see it right away, but we have a lot of them. We have A, B, C. That's a straight angle. That's 180 degrees, so larger than 90. Then we have F, E, D, which is also uh, larger than 90, right? Uh, so I'm just going to choose the ones we haven't used. Uh, so F, E, D, and it's spelled the word fed. So F, E, D, obtuse. How many angles are formed by the intersecting roads, right? So you can see uh, there's a highway right here, and then Oakmont Road crosses the highway right there. Um, so how many angles are formed by intersecting the roads? I'll give you a moment. Again, always push pause if you need more time. When I say, here we go, that means that we will start again. All right, here we go. How many angles are formed by the intersecting roads, right? We have one, two, three, four. Is that it? No. Nope. We have five, six, seven, eight, right? So I bet you didn't see those straight angles there that were formed. Um, if you said four, you're good, right? Those are the ones that are visible. That's what we're going to be talking about today. So estimate each angle formed by the intersecting roads. Uh, what do you notice, right? So uh, if I looked at these, and uh, let me get rid of uh, some of this stuff like that so we can see. Uh, four or eight. Um, if you count the straight angles. Uh, so estimate the angles. Well, I know that this is going to be greater than 90, right? So I can see that it doesn't form. If I go straight up, you can see it doesn't really form a straight angle right there. So um, basically, we know this is greater than 90. Uh, oops. So that we'd say this would be an obtuse angle, and this would be an acute angle, because it's less than 90, obtuse and acute, right? Uh, and so what do we notice? I would say, well, the obtuse angles look similar, right? Or the same, um, so they can possibly be congruent. Uh, we can look at possibly being um, uh, an angle that is opposite of each other, right? Sorry, lost my train of thought there. So uh, lots of different things that you could put down right there of what you notice. Oops. So use the figure below, estimate each angle formed by the intersecting lines. Name two angles that are adjacent to L, A, B, C. So A, B, C, right? So remember that if we go back, adjacent angles, are two angles that are adjacent when they share a common side and have the same vertex, right? So uh, angle one and two are what we call adjacent. So go back to the thing here. So estimate each angle formed by the intersecting lines. Uh, so we're going to say, you know, I know this is, you know, if I draw my 90 degrees in, right? I so see that's 90. So I'm looking at what 
what would I add? Is that like half of 90? Is that, you know, maybe um, a third of 90, right? So I'm going to look at that as about a 30 degree angle just because I'm, I'm seeing 90 here. I'm seeing that this isn't quite half because um, half would maybe be like just a little bit more. Uh, so I'll say 30. Uh, so 90 plus 30. And so I'd say that this angle is 120 degrees, right? And so if that angle is 120 degrees, well, then it's opposite. It's a uh, vertical angle. It would also be 120. So CBD would also be 120. Uh, and so if this is 120 all the way from here to here, right? What would this angle be, right? If it forms from here all the way to here, what type of angle is that? Yes, it is true. It is a straight angle. And so 120 uh, and then this one would be whatever makes 180, right? Because straight angles are 180 degrees. So we'd say 120 plus what? Oh, yes, plus 60, right? So 60 degrees would be those angles, right? So two angles that are adjacent to each other. Um, so we, you know, 120 and 60. Sorry for my handwriting. All right. Uh, estimate each angle formed by the intersecting lines. Did that check? Name two angles that are adjacent to angle A, B, C. A, B, C. Right. So A, B, C. All right. So I'm going to get rid of all this right now so we can see this a little better. Um, angle A, B, C. Okay. Right. Uh, so there we are. Angle ABC adjacent to it would be CBD or ABE, right? So angle A, B, because I share the same vertex, right? E, so angle A and angle C, B, D. All right. So again, ABC is adjacent to ABE and CBD. Name a pair of adjacent angles. All right, so we got this great figure over here. So name a pair of adjacent angles and name a pair of vertical angles. All right, so again, uh, adjacent angles are angles um, that are next to each other and they share a vertex, right? Uh, so if we have to just choose one to start with, right? So we have to start with one angle. So we'll say angle, right? And um, let's go with ABC, it's easy. ABC is adjacent to, that's an and symbol, <laughs> uh, actually I don't like that, that's right out, and angle ABC, so I can go CBD, I can go ABF, right, either, either ones, so I'll say A, B, F. A, B, F. All right. So name a pair of vertical angles. Those are angles that are opposite each other. Um, and so I'm seeing... Um, Looking at the different angles here, I'm looking at FBE, right? Uh, and so we have to look at two intersecting lines, and we see that this is just a segment uh, coming out right here. And so we have to use this right here, right? So it's a little tricky looking at this, uh, but we're looking right now at this. This is just an, a line that's kind of pointing out. It doesn't go all the way through, so we know it's a segment. and also ends with this. See how the two arrows on the ends? Uh, these are two intersecting lines, um, and so we would say that angle ABF is vertical to CBD or DBC, right? So I'll say, forgot the angle sign, angle FB, oops, angle F B. A and angle A 
be, oops, excuse me, angle D, B, C. Again, sorry for handwriting. I actually just ordered a little stylus pen. Uh, it's here Monday, so should be uh, a little bit cleaner notes after that. All right, name two pairs of adjacent angles and two pairs of vertical angles in the figures. Again, push pause. Uh, I believe this is uh, one for you to try on your own. Um, and so, again, yes, on your own. So if you uh, need more time, go ahead and push pause. I wait about uh, five, ten seconds, which is not enough time. Just not trying to run the video longer than it needs to be with the silence. All right, name two pairs of adjacent angles and two pairs of vertical angles. All right, so we're looking right here. We have um, adjacent angles uh, are right next to each other and they share the vertex. So Z or VWZ and VWX would be adjacent. So we have VWX, oh, got the angle sign, and I'm going to switch to something really fast. No, go back, excuse me. I don't think I'll pick up the angle sign. So angle VWX, VWX uh, is adjacent to XWY. Let me try to get my hand sign better. There we go. And XWY. You can see that both times the vertex is right there in the middle, right? And so that's a way to think about it when you're writing your adjacent angles, um, that they have to share a vertex, right? Uh, and I'll just say the next ones to save myself from having to write. Uh, we can say that angle YWZ is adjacent to uh, ZWV, right? YWZ is adjacent to ZWV. And then over here, we look at this one, uh, angles in the figure, and then I'm going to label uh, the vertical angles, right? So you can see those. I'm not going to write them down, but you can read them as XWY is vertical to VWZ, VWX is vertical to ZWY, right? So again, I just use the symbols uh, to show you uh, vertical angles. And here, uh, angle uh, QJP, right? So let's look at the intersecting lines. These are all intersecting lines. Uh, so we would say that QJ QJK Oh, the angle sign. Angle QJK. Uh, and let's see if I get this down. Oh, I'm getting better. At angle, so QJK, KJL. Again, there's a lot of them up here, so you can choose. I'm just going to write one of them. I'll say the next one. LJM is adjacent to MJN. You can also name it NJM. Doesn't matter. All right, so this angle. Right, and then we're going to look at the uh, intersecting lines for uh, vertical angles. So I'd say that these angles are vertical, these angles are vertical. And I told you when there's uh, a third one, right, we just do three, right? So these are what we call equal, right? So, dun, 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 right? So we know that the three, the twos, and the ones are what vertical and they are equal to each other. Tell them whether the angles are adjacent, then solve for the value x, right? So this is another step that we're going to look at. We're going to say, are these angles vertical or adjacent? They are across to each other. They are not next to each other, right? So they are vertical angles. And we know that vertical angles are equal to each other, right? So we could say 70 equals x. So that equals x, right? Um, and looking at here, we have 
angles, right? And you can see that they are adjacent to each other, right? Because they share the same vertex and right next to each other, not across from each other. Uh, but this tells us something. It tells us what this is equal to. So this angle from here to here is 90 degrees. So we would say that x plus 4 equals 31. Um, nope, sorry, excuse me, I messed up, not equal to 31, we would, oh, darn, all right, one more time, set, plus, 31 equals 90 degrees. So we'll combine like terms on this side. So we have x plus 35 equals 90 minus 35 minus 35. So this goes to zero on this side, right? Just x, right? And then 90 minus 35. Uh, quick, oops, pushing the little dot. Uh, so we have borrowed from there, eight, 10 minus five is five, eight minus three is five. So we have X is 55 degrees, right? And so then find the value of X. If we wanted to say what this angle is, we'd say 55 plus four equals 59. And the way to check yourself you say, is 59 plus 31 90? And you say, yes, it is. All right, draw a pair of vertical angles with a measure of 40 degrees. Uh, so we're just going to not draw, but sorry, I meant to, uh, we're going to estimate. Sorry, I'm going to estimate. We are going to uh, draw an angle that is around 40 degrees, right? If you have a protractor, feel free to uh, draw it do that. Um, if you don't, um, I'm not going to make you do any of this right now until we get back to class um, and we'll practice with protractors and drawing and measuring angles. Uh, so 40 degrees. Uh, the way that I'm going to think about it right now is I'm going to think at 90 degrees, right? This is 90. I know that half is 45, right? And so I'm going to go get a different color pen right now. Uh, so if half is 45, right? So that's 45. Then I know that right below it. would be 40 degrees, right? So use your knowledge and just kind of estimate. I know what 90 is, I know what 45 is. So is it more than 45, is it less than 45? I know what 180 is, I know what 90 is. Uh, so I can kind of estimate um, if it goes up obtuse angle, right? So these ones are on your own, so you are gonna be able to do this on your own, but uh, uh, if you need more time, go ahead and push pause. I'm only gonna wait about uh, five seconds, so not to keep the video going too long. Tell her the angles are adjacent or vertical, then find the value of X, right? So two parts right here. Um, actually, you know what, I don't, oops, I pushed the wrong button. Hey, I don't think that we actually identified that these are vertical angles and these are adjacent angles. Sorry, I just realized I didn't do that for you. All right, so again, adjacent or vertical, uh, we'd say that these are adjacent angles. Oops. Adjacent angles. Uh, looking at these two angles right here, again, we know that this is 90. Right? Those are vertical angles. Those are across from each other, opposite. Uh, and these are right next to each other, so we'd say that these are adjacent. I believe that is... Uh, Portuguese for a grandmother. No, avo. avo. Yeah, I think avo is Portuguese for grandmother. Anyways, draw a picture of vertical angles with a measure of 75 degrees. Oh, we need to go back up here. So we know that uh, adjacent angles, um, we know that from here to here, right? It didn't tell us this, but we know this already. It's a straight angle. So what does straight angle is equal to? You guessed it, 180 degrees. 
right? And so these two angles are going to equal 100 degrees. Uh, I'm just going to write it with the x first just because it's a more standard form. Ooh, I'm getting better, right? So this plus this, this uh, equals 180 degrees. And so we are going to subtract off 85 from this side. So we're going to subtract off 85 from this side. And we get x is equal to 95 degrees. Okay, right? and that kind of makes sense, right? Looking straight up, it's a little bit more than 90. Uh, these are equal at vertical angles, so they're equal to each other. So this one's easy. We say x is equal to 90 degrees. Now, if it had x, um, x plus 7 and it didn't have an angle degree here, you would just say it wouldn't be 90, right? You'd have to do one more step and do a one-step equation. Anyways, right here, this is going to be, we see that this is equal to 90. So from here to here, we say that's 90. Uh, and so these two angles will add up to be 90 degrees. So x, 2x minus 1 plus 69 equals 90 degrees. And no, I did not change the, choose the angle uh measurements of 69. So 2x plus 68, right? 69 minus 1 equals 90, right? Minus 68, both sides of the equation. That goes to 0. 2x equals, uh, so 8, 10, so 2, um, 2, and divide by 2, divide by 2, x equals 11. Okay. A little bit of work there. And now draw a pair of vertical angles uh, with measurement of 75. Um, vertical angles are across from each other, so we now have two intersecting lines. Right. If I went straight like this, that's 90, right? So I need to do a little bit less than 90. Again, just kind of estimating here. It looks like a lot like way too big, right? So let me get rid of this line. Uh, so I'm just going to draw a dashed line and that would be 90. Right. So if this angle is 90, right, I want to be a little bit less. And then I would say that this angle is 75. And then this angle would be 75. And if you have a protractor and you want to practice this and you know how to do this, by all means, go ahead. We'll do this at a later point. So that's about it. Opposite vertical angles, 75. All right, last slide here. A little bit of a closure. Vertical angles are always acute, right? Vertical angles. Um, are equal to each other, so they are not always acute. That'd be a big old falsy, right? Adjacent angles could be acute. Adjacent angles could be acute. Um, now, adjacent angles can be acute, right? If they're within a 90 degrees angle right here, right? These are two adjacent angles, and they are less, both less than 90, so we say some that is true could be. Oops. Adjacent angles could be obtuse, right? Adjacent angles just need to be next to each other. Um, adjacent angles can be obtuse. Um, not both of them, but one of them could definitely be. Uh, so I'm going to say yes to that one. Uh, if you're thinking that they both have to be, you can say false. Vertical angles are congruent. Uh, that is true, right? They're opposite each other. They're equal. Um, adjacent angles could be congruent. Um, That'd be true, right? Could be, uh, because if you have a 45 and a 45, right? Just put directly down the middle, right? And we have two 45 degree angles right there. So that is it, folks. We are done. We're at 35 minutes. Sorry it took so long and sorry for my messy handwriting. Uh, we'll look at, uh, hopefully by Monday having that little uh, pen that I can get some cleaner notes for you. Watch those videos. Uh, Come to my office hours and or 
log into my office hours and uh, say hi. Talk to you soon, people. Stay safe. Stay healthy. Bye-bye.